You know, dealing with Listing Booster for the past couple of years, one of my biggest personal regrets is how many leads actually just go to waste. I look at some of these accounts and it's pretty remarkable and I know they're not getting called. And I know a lot of you are looking at buying online leads and you have to do something to manage it or you're just wasting your money. Loan Tech can help you with those leads to organize those leads so they don't go to waste so you do close more business and they're fantastic at this stuff. If you want to find out, click this banner right over there. You won't regret it. So home prices rose by 0.5% in November, as they did in October, and are up 5.9% over last year. This, by the way, is based on the FHFA house price index. Guess what? Home prices are officially higher than they were in 2007 before all the fun began. And think of it. We've realized all this appreciation on 30 year fixed rate loans, not 228s, not interest only, not Nina's or anything like that. 30 year meat and potato loans. Ah, in your face! Makes me wonder though, and we've brought this up before, unlike the stock market where people and groups invest, which pushes prices up, the housing market primarily relies on the average Joe and Jane family to make monthly payments to push prices up. So if we're not seeing incomes increasing at the level of home price appreciation, won't there become a day when those lines intersect and values will stagnate? Let me give you an example. Here's a graph that displays the median household income. See that peak right around 2007 before the crash? Household income was north of $57,000 a year. Now, we're right around $53,000 a year, meaning we're making 3,500 bucks less per household than we did prior to the crash. Yet, the loans backing the homes are all conservative fixed rate loans, albeit at very low rates. According to CoreLogic, single family mortgage debt outstanding also rose in the first nine months of 2015, but only by $80 billion. 2015 was the first year in a decade that both home equity and mortgage debt outstanding rose during the same year. Moment to pause, right? Now as home values increase and income stagnates or goes lower, it has to have an effect on the housing market. Homes will simply become too expensive to continue our rocket light trajectory, especially if interest rates go on the rise. So how do we fix the problem and allow appreciation to continue? Well, we have to make money cheaper to borrow or bend underwriting rules to allow people to over leverage themselves into oblivion. Now, banks need to keep lending, so doesn't that make this market ripe for the reemergence of subprime loans? You say it'll never happen, right? But who would have thought there would have been a Rocky 7 and Sly would win another Oscar, which he's going to. And by the way, I'm boycotting the Oscars because Sicario and Ex Machina aren't up for best picture, and those are easily the two best movies of the year and everybody knows it. Oh, and by the way, I'm boycotting the Fox debates too, because that Megyn Kelly, she should have never cut her hair. I'm gonna spend my time occupying a ranger station in Oregon or something like that. I hear it's all the rage. Okay, back to the 21 reasons you should be using Listing Booster, and here is reason number two. In most markets, it'll do most of your heavy lifting, meaning Listing Booster has a relationship with around 600 of the 800 MLSs in the country, along with direct feeds from most major real estate companies. That means when a realtor gets a new listing, Listing Booster will auto-create a YouTube video, a property website, a virtual tour, a unique code for mobile functionality, social site property information, and send a tidy little email from the loan officer to the agent with all the links on everything that just got done so that they can go back to their and show them all the cool marketing stuff that they're doing for them. And let's not forget, all listing booster material allows potential buyers to engage with you, which means you get more leads. And think of it, all you had to do was wake up in the morning. All those are really compelling reasons for listing booster. You should probably get it. Click this banner right here, right over there. Oh, don't know if you saw this, but the CFPB's Office of Enforcement asserted that it can take administrative enforcement actions against your company for violations that took place longer than three years ago. Ha <laughs> ha! The CFPB contends that the three year limitation begins to run upon the discovery of your violations. So that means you're never out of the woodwork with these guys. I think what happened here, guys, is the CFPB looked over at the IRS and they said, hey, 
Why do they get to be the most hated agency in all government? What can we do? Continuing from ReedSmith.com, assuming PHH is not reversed by the DC Circuit, the agency's position on the statute of limitations will allow it to target allegedly unlawful acts and practices that businesses may have assumed were beyond reach. This raises the stakes even higher for companies or for businesses lines within companies that have not yet faced a full scope CFPB examination. In-house counsel should take a hard look at the policies, procedures, and practices, and they should consider conducting a mock CFP exam to proactively identify any and eliminate potential UDAAP violations. Now isn't that special? <laughs> so ramp up, hire the right help, and make sure that you build in the cost to your rate sheets so your clients can finance it over the next 30 years. Thanks, CFPB. Again, lending has never been as safe as it is today, yet hits keep on coming. I don't know what I want more, the Golden State Warriors to beat the Bulls regular season record or PHH to win over the CFPB. Actually, I do know the answer. <laughs> Alrighty then. What is isn't that special? Remember that? Isn't yeah, that special? Is, like, Gary, you should drop that in somewhere. Well, isn't that special? <laughs> you guys have a great, great day. Uh, forward, share, subscribe, all that kind of good stuff. Check out all the banners we told you to check out, and we'll catch up with you tomorrow. How's that? Sounds good to me. All right, catch you later. All right, bye. bye. <laughs>